Hey everybody, and welcome back to Let's Play Avernum 6. So, uh, rather than uh, enter Solberg's tower, Patrick's tower, actually, well, I mean, it's called Patrick's, but it's currently, I guess, Solberg is the current uh, resident archmage, whatever. Um, rather than entering that tower, we are actually somewhere else entirely and dealing with some pretty nasty rodents. So, as I said last time, I just uh, made my way back through the same tunnels, you know, it re just re-explored the same tunnels that we had explored last time. Uh, nothing spectacular happened there, as expected. Um, I was able to clear out some of the rats immediately adjacent to the Hive Queen, who should be sitting around somewhere, just just uh, outside of our range of vision right now, uh, without her actually uh, becoming aggressive, so that's good. But she's still there, and she has plenty of very nasty um, rats at her side. And we'll see how well we can deal with those today. That's not the right spell. Let's actually top everyone up completely. Let's cast both of those spells. Um, let's cast haste. And the Cloak of Curses, for what it's worth. And I'm even considering maybe using the... Uh, someone has something. Oh, Steel War. Yeah, there it is. Ward of Steel. I'm going to save that for now. So obviously we only have the, the one. Maybe Spine Shield. I don't know. I could use that one, I guess. It's not going to help with extra protection, but it's going to add just a little bit extra damage, at least. This strikes me as not quite as valuable. It's literally not as valuable as Steelwork, but, you know. Why the heck not? Okay, and now... As soon as we take one extra step, two extra steps... We see some sort of rat. That's just a normal, fierce rat. Oh, interesting. Okay, so I guess... Pretty sure the the Hive Queen was... Sitting right next to another rat? Last time I checked. She must be close. Yeah, okay, well, she... We don't see her, but she spotted us, apparently. Um, yep. Eggs hatch. Apparently. Oh, oh, she was around the corner. Interesting. So she does patrol. Didn't expect that for some reason. Huh. I'm sure that doesn't mean that... Yeah, yeah, yeah. All the other reds aren't coming. And in fact, there's a rodent hive tender, which I didn't even notice last time. In fact, these are both hive tenders. Same kind of health as the normal fierce rats though, so I don't know. What makes those so special? Uh, I think I'm gonna daze. Okay, we actually daze everything but the Hive Queen. Which is great. Can, can we please? Okay. What are you? Unstable rat. Ugh. Gotta go there anyway. You're gonna go there. Switch to your proper weapon. Alright. That was more than decent. Very good, actually. I am more than a bit worried about these exploding rats, though. Those are gonna be the real problem. I know there's really m more than... More for me to do than just try to keep everyone topped up as much as I possibly can. I mean, ideally I would take these out at a distance, but I mean, they're so tanky, that's not really gonna work. Not really an option. Cursed, not that it matters at this point. What did you just do? 
Did a... One of the red eggs hatches. A foul slimy creature emerges. Okay. Right. Um, wait. Where, where's the hive queen? I wasn't... I wasn't looking. Did it actually just run away? I think it did. I don't think it just died. I mean, what would it have died of? That's not great. Okay, these three are still... I... what? Oh, he... He still has action points. Oh dear. I, uh, I think we might need to start this over, because I really don't like that the queen ran away. So I was wondering if maybe, as soon as she dies, uh, no further rats would keep hatching, but now that she is still alive and around somewhere, that'll just keep happening? I don't know that that's the case, but it might be. Thanks for the double turn for my healer there. That's definitely useful. Uh... Okay. We survived. That is really rough, though. I mean, how much... How much health do we have? Only <laughs> 61. I thought they dealt a 60-ish damage last time, but there might obviously be randomness to it. Either way, this is kind of bad. Hive Tender is almost dead. I mean, that's nice. But... You... Oh, the sp my Spine Shield actually did something. I forgot that I, I cast that. Uh, right. Of course, ideally, I would, I would like to kill this rat with no one around. Because if I kill it now, it's just gonna... Can you do this? That did nothing. Resist it. Can you get away from it? I don't know if that's far enough away. Uh, that definitely isn't. Okay, come on, top her off. Everyone else, run away. Oh, he's too close. Stay there. You can tank the hit, I think. Please kill it. She was able to tank it. Amazing. Actually amazing. <laughs> Okay, but, that being said, the queen is not dead, right? She's still around. She must have run run off around the corner here. Right? Maybe not. Um... What the heck? should be around here somewhere. Benches. Bandage self. Okay, I was wondering... I was just about to wonder if bandages are internally handled as a type of food, because they have a similar effect. Well, they're slightly better at healing. Not amazing. I suppose I could take these. It's not like they're gonna weigh me down or anything. Uh, speed potion? No. I actually have one of those. The thing is, yeah, I mean, oh, maybe the rat, maybe the rat did die, the, the queen, but I would have expected it to drop something, obviously. Oh, maybe it did, no? Rat skin helmet, okay, never mind. I thought I had checked for loot around and not seen anything. Dang, now I kind of want to check my video and see if, if, uh, if I can confirm that she actually did die. But yeah, since I had completely forgotten about the spine damage, she probably just killed herself or something? Hmm. I'm not sure. Either way, um, this red skin helmet probably was dropped by her. Maybe. Poor leather helmet, normal leather helmet. 
Um, huh, he has really good armor. Okay, so she's behind. That's fine. Which means she can get that. I can't with a redskin helmet. Kind of makes sense. Okay, well that worked. We, I feel like we've like we were definitely dealing with fewer um, exploding rats than last time. I thought we we saw more than two of those, which I guess if if the Red Queen actually did die, um, when you know when she did, and I just wasn't paying attention at the time, uh, then maybe maybe really no further rats were spawning after she was dead. And that worked exactly the way I I thought it might. Alright, let's also not leave this all this good and perfectly unsuspicious meat lying around. That would be silly. Okay. Um Well that worked better than expected. It was still pretty rough though. I mean obviously it was we had just enough health to survive those explosions. One one level lower and we would not have been able to do that without any losses, so yeah, glad that worked out. Um, yeah, about those rats that ran away in some of the, those earlier encounters, I'm like 90% sure that I never actually finished some of them off. So I'm not sure what's going on there. But, oh well. Okay, so ultimately we only found this one Scuttler pack leader here. And none in that particular underground section, so... I'm going to assume that we killed all of them. All right. Okay, bit of a roundabout way. Actually, never mind. I was, I totally thought we were somewhere else. Just disregard whatever I say, everything I say, as you normally should. Hello, apprentice. There are several apprentices in the tower learning the secrets of magic and alchemy. Like all magical apprentices in Avernum, they have taken vows of silence. Not helpful to you, of course, but it does mean one less person to talk to. Wow, that seems a bit too self-aware. Game. Hello, Jules. Jules? Jules? Hmm. The alchemist of Patrick's tower has been here for a very long time. Her white hair has a vivid violet streak, doubtless by choice. Her arms are dyed green up to the elbows, the now permanent residue of decades of work. She greets you with a, with a smile. Ah, yes. Whenever a new warrior comes to our tower, it is only a matter of time before he or, uh, he or she enters my workshop. Not that we're currently in your workshop. This would make more sense, I guess, if we, we actually were. Uh, we have standing orders from Solberg to aid all of your kind. I'm Jules, and my laboratory is equipped and ready. What would you like? Uh, what sort of work do you do here? I mix, uh, I mix and mix and purify and bake. Not only potions, but whatever is needed for the research being done here. For the sentinels and for the new mushrooms. Um, what do you make for the sentinels? Oils and solvents to keep them clean and functioning smoothly. Even before they are, e even though they are creations of magic, it takes much effort to keep them in prime fighting condition. How do you help with the mushrooms? I make mulch and substances that Horin thinks might cure the blight. And, well, I don't know what she does with the mixtures I make for her. I just follow the recipes. Hmm. I would like to buy a potion. Oh. Okay. Tinker's crystals, huh? Unlock doors. Effect 21. So up to level 21? Is that what that means? Huh. Interesting. If that is indeed what that means, that, that would, uh, would be pretty powerful. Hmm. Of course, these might in, might be in pretty short supply. Um, I mean, obviously, it's the first. These are the first that we see, and there might be only. Well, there will be only so many probably in the entire game. Hmm. Interesting, though. I don't know if I want to buy them now necessarily. When there's almost certainly going to be, uh, you know way more things to, to spend money on, potentially, in this area. But that's uh, good to know that those exist. In fact, I don't know if I if there were unlock doors consumable items before. There was the mage spell, but I think that one... I, I have a feeling like I read when, I, when looking up um, 
things like the required skill levels and uh, and items to keep that I read somewhere someone mentioned that the the mage spell the unlocked door spell was removed I'm not entirely sure if that's that's true if that was in this game or something else that I'm confusing this with hmm well either way good to know this exists uh, some other things that are probably pretty useful but um, not right now. Can you make a potion for me? I'd be happy to. Let me see the herbs you've foraged. If they are fresh enough, I can make something for you. Um, well, presumably that part is actually a lie because even if I've been carrying around car carrying them around for dozens of hours, they're still going to be just as good. Um, for example, if you brought me healing herbs in adequate quantities, I could make you healing or curing potions. Even better, with the right mix of herbs, I could make a brew to speed you up in combat or restore your magical energy. Very useful. Much in demand. No doubt about that. Healing, curing, speed, energy. Yeah, I mean, energy potions, maybe? If I don't need the um, spiritual and energetic herbs for anything else. I mean, I don't really see myself crafting any healing potions. Although, of course, they can come in very handy, especially in the earlier game. Um, but... I kind of want to... I suppose as soon as I find my first Mandrake root, uh, we will uh, probably see... Well, we, I don't know. It doesn't take just Mandrake root. And we might not have what other, whatever other type of herb it is, but it, I think it might be one or several of the other basic herbs that are required for the knowledge brew or whatever. Which is, I think, what I'm going to blow most of my herbal resources on. Okay, so the workshop is right here. Makes sense for her to just wander out sometimes to catch some uh, some fresh air. Uh, holding cells, danger, right. I, maybe we shouldn't explore this before having entered the tower proper and talk to people because we might get some sort of quest to actually head in there, you know, deal with some some sort of uh, escaped creature or another. Portal pylon, uh-huh. Okay, kind of a bit out of the way. I was hoping for it to be uh, near the entrance, but then again, I suppose this is kind of convenient, probably. Maybe even more convenient to have it here, closer to everything. Uh, Archmage Solberg, Ildiko. Okay. I will not rot here. Well, then don't. Ildiko, this young woman is the tower librarian. She's carrying around heavy armloads of scrolls and moldy tomes, keeping everything as organized as possible. Considering how disorganized most wizards are, it's a tough job. She frowns when you approach her. Soldiers, oh dear. I'm Ildiko of the... of the... the Ch 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 Chucky clan? I'm not sure... This particular cluster of consonants is actually used in any actual Slavic languages. I could be wrong, though. Let's just say that it's maybe pronounced, it's supposed to be pronounced like a ch. Chucky clan, sure, whatever. A librarian and researcher. Or maybe it's just a, you know, completely fantasy thing that has nothing to do with, with real-world languages, although everyone else has somewhat, you know, real-world-ish sounding names. Whatever. Uh, librarian and researcher, yes. Uh, please be careful not to knock anything over. I mean, we're not currently in your library. Again, you're talking as if we were somewhere else. Not that NPCs have a way to, to really acknowledge where we're talking to them. Uh, please be careful not to knock anything over, and don't touch anything without cleaning your hands first. I have enough problems with, with lost books lately. Lost books, you say? Okay. Uh, tell me about your library first. The library here is one of the finest collections of magical knowledge in Avernum, second only to the one in the, t in the Tower Colony, and we have hopes of overtaking it soon, especially if it explodes again. <laughs> yeah, I suppose that would help you. Uh, where's the Tower Colony? It's directly east from here, past the Great Portal. A long journey. It has a more storied history, including explosions and calamity, I might add. We are quieter and easier to overlook, but much learning takes place here. The Tower Colony exploded? Once, when it was the Tower of Magi, a great and destructive calamity, one that almost destroyed all of Avernum with it. Fortunately, it is not likely to happen again. Can't you elaborate? Hmm. Um, I have another question. 
What sort of research do you do? Oh, I have little time for research anymore, but when I do, I study magical barriers. Ah, interesting. You may have seen several of them in the tower. Well, not yet, but I've seen them here and there. I created some of them. They are very useful. Also very annoying to me. Can you teach me how to create them? I'm afraid not. It is a very difficult and complicated ritual, requiring the creation and maintenance of an infinitely delicate web of power. It would take years to teach you. Can you dispel the barriers once created? Only once I have made. In those cases, I know what strings to pull to make the barrier unravel. The spell to destroy barriers is extremely hard to learn. It is the cherished, se the cherished secret, and all mages are loath to share it. Yeah, okay. Where might I learn it? I have no idea. Though the Tower Colony is often the best place to learn obscure magic. Right, okay. Is that spell the only way to dispel barriers? No, there are also rare items called piercing crystals. Crystals infused with a power that can disrupt the barriers. Right. We know that, of course. In fact, we have one of them. We do, right? I think so. Um, can I purchase any of his scrolls? She looks thoroughly shocked. I should say not. <laughs> okay. Um... You mentioned something about a lost book. I am afraid so. One of the apprentices was using it to try to pacify, pacify and command an undead spirit. The creature broke loose and killed him. Now it, the body, and my book are trapped in the holding cells. Aha, uh -huh, see? That's exactly why I, I held off on um, going there yet. She doesn't seem too upset about the dead apprentice. She probably thinks he received a fair punishment for endangering a rare book. And rightfully so. I would give a valuable reward for anyone who could kill who could could kill the wraith and enable me to recover the tome they would have to be able to get into the holding cell first of course be warned the wraith was a nasty creature to begin with and its time in the cell is likely left and very irritable please don't take offense but you might not be up to the challenge well i might be though you never know until uh, until you go to try where's the holding cell the holding cells are below the tower the stairway down is outside jules's workshop why is it hard to get into the cell the apprentice made a, bed, a magical barrier, sealing himself in. Very unwise. And though I taught though I taught him to make the barriers myself, and what a waste of time that was, I'm not able to dispel one he created. Hmm. Okay. So that's not something we can do anytime soon. M maybe for the better. The Ice Wraith. Sounds like it could be kind of nasty. Well, okay. Fair enough. Archmage Solberg. You come face to face with the character out of the history, a character out of the history books. The Archmage Solberg, one of the first wizards in Avernum, few have fought harder or given more to protect and build Avernum since long before you were born. And his age shows, yep, definitely shows in the picture there. The practice of magic has a tendency to lengthen the lives of its masters, but in Solberg the process is reaching its limits. He slouches in his throne like a life-sized withered doll. He looks up at you from the seat. He is a small and he is small and frail, but his power radiates out of him. Young soldiers, young Evernights, from the castle perhaps, come to assist? I am Archmage Solberg, the master of Patrick's Tower. What do you need? Uh, you are the master of the tower? I am. Once I would have th thought it an honor to look after my friend's tower. Then I was master of it, and it bored me silly. And it bored me silly, and now I have been trapped here again. It is simply where I am warehoused. He is starting to ramble a little. You suspect that he would continue even if you left the room. I returned from tranquility, thinking I could be of use. They nodded and smiled and stuck me here. Mm, what was tranquility? Oh, that yeah, of course. That place. That uh, new... Well, mini-nation, I guess, that he founded briefly. Of course. It's one of, one of the sub-areas in the sequence of, you know, the, the linear sequence of areas that we discovered, that we explored in uh, Avernum 5, of course. An experiment. I tried to create a new land within Avernum, protected by my magical sentinels, which were quite annoying, as I remember, which would be safe from invasion, raid, or demonic assault. This experiment failed, and my land had to be evacuated when the Slith Horde struck. Still... He nods towards one of the sentinels. My sentinels still have uses in limited roles. Uh, you don't want to be here? Look at me. This flesh has little strength left, but I would use it fighting back the Slith Horde, fighting for Avernum. But I am too old, too erratic, they say. 
They do not trust me, but one day they will learn. Learn what? He smiles. I am an archmage. This, this gives me... He gives a short, dry chuckle. You see a brief flash of life in his eyes. <laughs> Never mind. What else do you need to know? Hmm, ominous. What research is happening here? Important research, of course. When I took over here, I redirected all of our efforts. Nothing risky, nothing esoteric. We must direct all of our energy to the service of Avernum. We are trying to create a new blight-resistant mushroom. Work on my sentinels continues. He sighs. And Gladwell does, well, whatever he does. As I warned, as I warned what happened when he came. Hmm. Uh, tell me about the mushrooms. In an instant, Silver grows furious. He leans forward in his seat and instantly regrets it. Wincing, he says, The flora of Avernum! We created it! Y yes, I know, but... I don't, didn't think that my question implied that we didn't know what mushrooms were, or how important they were. We literally grew up here, so, you know, everyone sh everyone knows that. <laughs> that's that's kind of silly to, to imply that that's what my character's question was uh, was supposed to be and for him to react like he did <laughs> hmm. uh, okay whatever we created it the cave wood the glowing fungus the savory mushrooms all of it made by us to make life here livable and now we will be defeated by the by a fungus never we will do what we did before but better and we will find the source of the sabotage and have our vengeance sabotage some would say the rise of the blight is a natural process, something that happens and would happen. I think not. So much of our work could not be undone by chance. I mean, it could be. Probably didn't, though. Probably wasn't. Mark my words, someone is behind this, and I will find them. Oh, okay. Uh, what about the Sentinels? My creation. Like golems, but faster and more capable. But sadly, still very stupid. And less stable. Once I overestimated their capabilities, they are very valuable in limited tasks. I'm trying to expand their possible uses. Okay. Who's Gladwell? A wizard from the Northern Tunnels, powerful and mysterious, and selfish and untrustworthy. He came here when the Slith Horde seized all of the lands around his remote tower. He does many services for us, making wands and potions and such, so the Crown lets him stay, but... He shakes his head. But what? Gladwell only cares for power. And for Gladwell. Beware him. He will offer you much, but he will make you pay for it. Yeah, we're going to try to avoid entering his services, becoming one of his thralls, I guess. As I think I did last time in Avernum 5. I did not become one of his thralls, did I? I don't think I did. Um, can you Can you teach me any magic? I do not teach. Have not... Have not for years. My time is too valuable. Speak with the others in the tower. Perhaps one of them will take the time to aid you. Okay. I was expecting him to... See, this is the kind of question that I expected him to get angry at, but not so much, I guess. I'd like to hear stories of Avernum's past. He snorts. I'm not some musty old scroll. I'm not senile and useless, sitting around and telling stories of my past. Except when I do. There is a war, and I will be part of it, as I have in every war before now. You will not, if you are wise, treat me as an invalid again. Dude, chill. You're really over-interpreting certain, certain things. Um, I've been sent from the castle to aid you, by the way. So I'm not just randomly wandering in to, to annoy you. Sobrick nods. It's about time. You are not here to help me. No, to help me, but to help Horin. She is in the central courtyard. Help her to complete her experiment. What sort of experiment? You are going to help her create a new sort of mushroom that can withstand the blight, something that can save Avernum. It is an honor to be given the task, especially considering your obvious lack of experience. Well, rude. Go speak with her. It is vital that you hurry. Right. Uh, excuse me? Just... Don't just kick me out of my... out of our conversation here. Oh, except... that was apparently all there was. Never mind, then. Alright. Bit of a mixed bag, that conversation. Honestly, I was expecting him to be more unhinged somehow. Then he ended up being somewhat normal and and friendly even. Except for the couple of times where he just snapped at me for no apparent reason. Yeah, I don't know. Don't touch anything. We'll see about that. Oh, I didn't even see the barrier there. All right. 
So that's a library. Barracks. Is there some sort of captain of the guard who might have a, a task for me, maybe? Hmm. Uh, the central courtyard of Patrick's Tower, once used for a long con contemplative con con contemplative uh, strolls by the wizards here, is now occupied by botanical research. There are several rows of mushrooms here, growing on moist, mossy expanses of gravel. At first you think that they look healthy. It is only when you look closer that you see the tiny spots of blight that are beginning to afflict them. There is obviously serious research going on here to develop a new food so source for Avernum, and quickly, it, is not yet, it has not yet succeeded. Horin. The fungal patches in the central courtyard are being tended by a single, withered, bespectacled, bespectacled woman. She walks among the rows, bent half over, peering at the mushrooms. Something, sh Sometimes she makes a note or takes a sample. She shows all the signs of a long life as an alchemist. Stained skin, twitching, occasionally uh, batting her hands at creatures that aren't there. A late life of botanical pursuits seems to suit her. When you get close, she straightens up and peers at you. Soldiers? The soldiers at last? To help with my mushrooms? Good, good. I am Horin. Uh, tell me about your work. I am trying to breed a new sort of mushroom, one that resists the blight. I am far from alone in this. Everyone is trying to do the same thing. Wizards, farmers, none have succeeded. But I have better resources than most, so I am hopeful. Why is it such a difficult task? Can't you use magic? She chuckles. Magic is of little use against the wonder of com wonder and complexity and mystery of life. All of our efforts are but clumsy and crude. I mean, certain mages, such as uh, a certain archmage, uh, keep keep stressing the fact that all of this, all of these special mushrooms that uh, that help us survive down here were originally created by mages in the first place, right? So you'd think that something similar could be done again. A process that probably involves magic in some kind of way, but okay. Um, it was a miracle that wizards... As usual, I only needed to keep reading. It was a miracle that wizards were able to make the plants that make life in Avernum possible, and that was only achieved by slightly modifying existing forms of life. Okay, fair enough, fair enough. Uh, so what resources do you have? Wizards, alchemists, and a huge range of caverns under our feet for use in quarantine and testing. Have you made any progress? I have made strains of fungus that are slower to catch the blight, and slower still, which is like progress, except that they still eventually fall to it. Then they are useless. What happens when you eat a blighted mushroom? Generally, uncontrollable projectile vomiting. Okay, that, that's pretty explicit. Um, probably a good reason to avoid doing that then. Um, where are you from? I did my work on one of the Northern Isles in a colony of mages led by Archmage Shanker. Oh, Horin. Well, we probably ran into her then as well, but the name doesn't ring a bell. Shanker does, but Horin, not so much. Uh, then the Slith Horde isolated us, and I came here. I was their alchemist. I... Ah, go away! She swats at something invisible near her face. I mean, maybe it was just a mosquito or something. Um, uh, who's Shanker? A mighty wizard from the surface. She's still here, protecting her colony from the savages. I wish her well, but not uh, not even a mighty wizard can stand alone against such a force. Did something just attack you? A little bat? Didn't you see it? My, 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 people in this tower have such awful eyesight. Mm hmm okay. So she's just crazy. That's fine. I, I can help you with your mushrooms. That's a very confident thing to say. I mean, I'm here to try doing that, but uh, we'll see if I can. <laughs> can you? Can you really? I'm so pleased. I've had an assortment of promising fungal strains and quarantine downstairs for weeks, waiting to be tested, but certain intruders have prevented us from evaluating them properly. If you could go down to the testing chambers, uh, testing chamber, get rid of the squatters and other invaders and run the test, I would be most grateful. Okay. Um... I'd be I'd be more than happy to because I I also have other business down there. What exactly is this experiment? I have bred a number of different new strains of mushroom, each of which has a chance of of resisting the blight. They're growing safely downstairs, far from the blight. 
Now I need a small amount of blight to be released near them, to see how well they handle the presence of a limited amount of the infection. If any of the samples survive, Vernum's troubles may be ended. Where do I enter the tunnels? Oh, okay. Again, a, a turquoise bracelet. You will have to leave the tower and travel west toward Fort Remote. Oh, really? She points out a location on your map. Um, okay. It should be marked with a uh, with warning signs. Go downstairs, past the guards, and follow the signs to the fields. Oh, before I forget, she hands you an odd bracelet. It is made of woven twine, encasing a polished piece of turquoise. That will give you passage past the guards. Glad I remembered to give it to you. Now you won't be killed. Oh, thanks. Yeah, that seems useful. Uh, tell me about the squatters. Somehow, some hungry Evernites snuck past the sentinels and infiltrated the caves. They're eating my samples. Here I am, trying to save them all, and they are devouring the very experiments that might have fed them all. Oh, they make me so angry. They're hiding in the tunnels somewhere. Find them and drive them out, however you want. Well, kind of hope that I'm, that there's going to be a non-violent solution for that particular issue, but we'll see. Oh, um, yeah. And, uh, tell me about the, in the other invaders. Some of the fungal mixtures I created have become uh, active on their own. Uh, one of them infected my assistant and made him very fungal. It is a tragedy, and very inconvenient. My assistant slash monster is lurking in the fields directly beneath us. He will have to be destroyed before the experiment can take place. Uh, is there any way to cure him? Well, the first thing the fungus did was liquefy a large part of his head, so it is unlikely. Alright. Directly, directly below us, you say, though. So where exactly is this access to the underground? Did I pass it by already? Oh. No, I guess not. Okay. Oh, claim checks quest is down there. And also the access to the to the caves underneath the tower. Kind of inconvenient that the entrance to that place is all the way around and down here. Huh. Oh well. Maybe it's not actually terrible in terms of safety though. Just on the off chance, unlikely as it may be, that something um, you know might something bad might might maybe uh, make its way out of those caves. Soringarn, hello. You interrupt a wizard who is in the middle of some painstaking work, uh, using putty and sheet metal to repair the tears in the side of a sentinel. He seems happy for the interruption. Oh, okay. I was gonna say, why why would we interrupt him? If it seems like he's busy. Uh, after washing some oil from his hands and wiping them with a towel, he says, I am Sorengard. Welcome to my busy little laboratory. Sorengard is well into his fifties, but it is still plain from looking at him that he is not a native Evernight. He's from the surface. He's been down here a long time, but some natural color remains in his cheeks. Well, hello. Uh, tell me about the tower. When I came down from the Empire, this is where I came. It was a good place to do my work free of interfer interference and without a recent history of explosions. And now that Solberg is back in charge, I can be guaranteed to get the resources I need. He may be old and, well, he is aging, but he still has great influence in the castle. <laughs> old and, well, he's aging. I don't know, I, th I think it's safe to say that he's he's quite old. Um, there's always so much to do, and he asks, and he adds darkly, so many to watch. Many to watch. Okay. Why did you leave the Empire? No mage may learn anything, do anything, or practically even cast anything without permission from one of the Emperor's bureaucrats. It has driven many wizards into the underworld, and Emperor Redmark has done nothing to change the laws. And who are you watching? For some reason, someone decided to welcome Gladwell into our tower. He is not a trustworthy character. He uses his wealth and power to corrupt those around him, and always for his own ends. Hmm... Uh, was that all here? Yes. Uh, what are you working on? I'm aiding Solberg in the improvement of his sentinels. They are a powerful tool with a variety of limitations. I'm trying to expand the very short list of what they can safely do. Fortunately, we are asking very little of them, so we shouldn't encounter the uh, problems Solberg had. What can the constructs do? Guard an area. Be placed somewhere or be sent on a fixed patrol and attack anyone not bearing some sort of symbol, say a bracelet. Uh -huh. Right. They are reasonably good at, at this one simple task, but when asked to do anything more elaborate, they are erratic. I am trying to enhance their capabilities. 
It is slow work, but I'm optimistic. What went wrong before? Solberg created a small province called Tranquility in the far northern Avernum. He tried to use the Sentinels to provide the complete defense for this new land. This made the constructs unstable. Fortunately, we are all currently more realistic about what things what the things can do. Is there any way I can help? Actually, there is. I've been looking for some hardy warriors to help with the minor matter of testing. There is a stone circle to the northwest, out in the Great Cave. There are several weak sentinels there. I want to evaluate their organization so remote from this from their creator. Just go there and say Solberg commands to the one in the center. Once they are no longer attacking you, report what happened back to me. Okay, that's. I was gonna say that. That uh, gave me flashbacks of uh, a similar quest. In yeah, I guess also Avernum Five. Um, a quest that I maybe didn't handle quite as uh, quite the way I was intended to back then. So maybe I can do better this time around and not actually destroy the things. Um, because it sounds once again like we're really just supposed to endure their attacks. I mean, it, that's literally what he says. So, yeah, we'll see if we can do that. Of course. Uh, how well find the stone, the stone circle? Well, I know where it is, but road signs should lead you to it. The constructs lingering there will make it unmistakable, right? So wait, they're gonna attack me? Oh yes, don't worry. They're weaker than normal. You should have no trouble fending off their onslaught. Defend yourself for a short time and then return to me. You'll be rewarded for your pains. I would hope so. Can you teach me any spells? I can teach you magic. It has long been one of my duties here, and sharing the secrets of of our order is our duty. I believe that, uh, which, I believe that, which is why I came to the underworld in the first place. Well then, let's uh, have a look. Uh, could improve haste or slow. Hmm. I mean, it doesn't say that improved slow will help with its success rate, but better duration is better than nothing, I suppose. Improve icy rain. Learn spray acid covers a, a target with a large magically summoned globule of corrosive slime, which damages it over time. Hmm. Spray acid. What? Was, uh, okay, acid shower. That's the one that I used. Uh, the scroll that I used. So spray acid is the single target thing. Gotcha. I mean, it would be useful to have that as a single target attack against anything resistant or immune to fire. Plus, of course, the acid damage can be pretty powerful. But that is definitely expensive. But that being said, I think I want to at least learn that. Yeah, I think I'll hold off on improving any anything for now but unlocking a new powerful spell like that i guess it's worth it okay construct test yep pick that up now okay some private rooms that is not pickable okay Uh, private laboratory, of course, barriered off. Uh, Glanwell's laboratory. Do we even want to deal with this guy? Should we? Probably not, but, well, here we are anyway. This workshop is hot, cramped, and full of unpleasant smells. Boiling herbs, sulfur, smoke, and a little blood. Hmm. The cages and manacles visible in every corner make you feel very nervous. You immediately wonder what sort of research is taking place here. It's not botany or anything com com uh, comparably benign. Comparably benign. It's dark magic, powerful and hard to restrain. Which makes you wonder even more why they allowed him here in the first place. Or who allowed him here? Oh hey, free magical uh, alchemical equipment that I'm gonna steal from you with absolutely no regrets. What's this? Ooh, energy potion. I'm sure you don't mind. Hmm. Unfortunately, it looks like he will potentially uh, allow me access to three different spell tomes, spell or skill tomes, and chests with rewards. So I might end up having to work for him, unfortunately. 
Hello, Gladwell. There is a lone wizard in this workshop, managing a dozen experiments and concoctions with almost obsessive focus. You watch him for several minutes as he maneuvers them to points where they don't need his attention. Then, when you suspect that he hasn't noticed you, he returns. He turns and grins, a cold, unsettling smile. Ah, a visitor. Welcome. I am Gladwell. He looks you up and down, quietly evaluating your strengths and weaknesses. Mostly weaknesses, of course. You are young and inexperienced, I think, but you have potential as well. Much potential. Interesting. A pot starts to bubble over. He turns to pull some firewood out from under it. Uh, what sort of work do you do here? Anything that is asked of me. Anything that can help your nation. I do whatever is asked and return for lodging here free from the distracting chaos of the north. For example, I make wands and potions of the highest quality, not the dross made by jewels and her like. Of course. Of our nation? You are not an Avernite? A true master of magic is a nation of one. Our kind goes where, where we will and does what we will do. I help Avernum because they have things to offer in return, and when the chaos has calmed, I will return home. Mm -hmm. Can I buy any ones or potions? Of course not. I am no tinker. Avernum asked for a certain number of items. I will create and deliver them. Okay, sorry for asking. Uh, what else will they ask you to do? He looks at a cage in the corner. It looks recently used. Certain parties in the castle make certain requests of me, and I perform them. Discussing it with you would not be appreciated. Uh huh. Um, what are all those shackles and cages for? They are for my work. Some of this work I do on behalf of our masters, of your masters, others for my own benefit. None of it is any of your business. Can you teach me any magic? I have access to deep stores of magical knowledge, powerful spells, rare and priceless tomes. I will make them available to those of value to me. There is no charity here. Everything I do operates on the principles of fair exchange. Right. Um, where are you from? Kind of random. My tower is in the northern in the northern isles, deep within the territory held by the Slith Horde. Their presence was a chaotic influence and made it difficult to do my work, so I came here. Before I left, I placed powerful bonds on my tower. One day, if I can't find a better place to reside, I will return there. You fled because you were afraid of the Sazerakai? Uh, that's not exactly what he said, or, you know. Sure, whatever. <laughs> afraid? Nonsense. That rebel could not pierce my defenses. However, they made it difficult for visitors to reach me. Much of my work depends on my finding allies to come and aid me. Did everyone in the Northern Isles flee? No, there was a wizard named Shanker, a baffled, altruistic soul who stayed to fight the Slytherikai, and I imagine hide from the Empire. She is still, she is there still, if she lives. Anything you want from your tower, should I happen to find it? He raises his eyebrow. Eyebrows, both of them. Only for you to try to break in to see how far you get before you are incinerated. Otherwise, do not think I need help from the likes of you in my own home. Okay. Sorry for offering. Um, but wasn't there something else? Oh no, that's that was that. Yeah, yeah, yeah. Whatever. Uh, what did you mean when you said that I have potential? Few soldiers visit me. It is unfortunate. You have training. You can travel. You sometimes have time to perform tasks. You should know. I can pay very well those who aid me. I will give you tasks. They will be dangerous. You must perform them in your spare time, quickly and properly. And when you are successful, I will pay you very well. I make this offer only rarely, but you have qualities. A spirit I have come to recognize. When you are interested, let me know. I mean... I can do things for you, so long as I don't enter some sort of, you know... Uh, some sort of, I don't know, blood contract where I basically sell my soul to you. I would like to help you, maybe? As what, what makes me slightly um, suspicious here is that we did not immediately get the quest. We had to go one extra step, where usually the game just gives you a quest right, you know, right away. Almost as if there was maybe a reason not to accept this one. But oh well. That would be dangerous. Uh, dangerous? <laughs> 
that would be boring, of course. I mean, it's it's obviously going to be dangerous, but whatever. That's never stopped me. <laughs> Don't know where that suddenly came from. Anyway, Gladwell nods. I saw it in you, a desire for power. The sort of power you will need to fight for your country and actually make a difference. You do want to make a difference, don't you? Well, there is a fort a short distance to the west, fort remote. There is a room within, the, within with paintings. There is a switch behind one of those paintings. Pull it. A concealed tunnel will be revealed. Go upstairs, find a door marked with a red stripe. Enter, find the clay seal and break it. It will be in, ma it will be in a magical circle. You might see some shades briefly. Don't damage them. Just return to me. That is all. It could be done in an afternoon if you made haste. And I will pay you well. Uh, will the soldiers on Fort Remote mind this? I doubt any of them know that those old cells exist. They were kept secret. So secret as to most likely be entirely forgotten. What is in the cell? Probably nothing. But that is something I need to know. Take note, however. Open the door with the red seal. Opening other doors might be unwise. The red seal. Huh. Okay. I might see shades briefly. But I'm not supposed to attack them, or... I mean, will they attack me? What kinds of shades? This all seems very shady, no pun intended. But, uh... Hmm. Well, we'll see. I mean, we, we agreed to help him, but I guess technically we're not obligated to actually ever finish the quest if it seems like we're actually doing something bad. I don't know. The, just the fact that he's actually now, that he's, he's kind of being monitored by Avernum, by, you know, other mages, and he's now, he's currently basically living here as a guest of the nation of Avernum, makes me think that maybe working for him this time around um, is is acceptable and that he's not necessarily going to uh, to risk Avernum's wrath by, you know, enslaving random adventurous souls and whatnot. So we might be kind of safe-ish. Also, there was... There was actually a way downstairs somewhere that I meant to check out. Oh yeah, it's right here. Oh, <laughs> this is exactly as far as we get here. A high wobbling moan echoes through the caverns. Interesting. We can take exactly one step in here in this corridor. And there's nothing we can do about this closed gate as far as I can tell, so okay. Never mind. However, there are these caves. Maybe we should start here. Next time. Take a look at these holding cells. Well, we have quite the list of quests at this point, suddenly. Scuttler packs... Oh. oh. So we're not done with those yet. Interesting. I guess I have only killed three of those things then. Right. Yeah, because otherwise, of, of course, the quest would have been finished automatically. Uh, tunnel worms... Tunnels below Patrick's Tower. That might be here, that might be... I mean, these are not the tunnels, though. This is, these are the holding cells. It's a different area, I suppose. I guess the tunnels are the place where we're supposed to go for the mushroom experiment. Claim checks, yep. Hunting holder. Yeah, yeah of course. That's that one. Test the mushrooms. Ice Wraith is gonna be... Oh, okay, so we're, yeah, that's supposed to be down here, but we can't do that yet. But there might be other things to do here, right? So there might not actually be any any quest we can do down here right now. Construct que uh, construct test, of course, we know what that is. Um, buried seal, yep. <sighs> Corrupted mushrooms. Still looking for that. Okay, uh, eight Patrick's Tower. Okay, all right. Well, we're going to take a break here and... Uh, Next time, take a look at the holding cells, see if we can do anything here at all. If not, I suppose we'll make our way towards those uh, those tunnels, the tunnel entrance. Um, or maybe spend some more time uh, looking for that final scuttler pack. Which I, I have an idea where that might be. We 
Hmm. Like there was one map that um is that is that here actually? It might be this one. Yeah, I think it's the one north of the stone circle. I think that area is yeah. It's probably probably part of the, the general area that is supposed to have the scuttlers. And that that one we have not actually explored, so um I think there's a decent chance that that's where those are. And you know. Since we're mostly done with the quest, I kind of want to finish that. So maybe we'll start with that one next time, depending on what we find down here, of course. Uh, but we'll see. For the time being, I thank you so much for watching. I hope you enjoyed. If you did, please hit the like button, leave a comment, and I shall see you real soon. Bye-bye.